Joined now by head coach Pat Fertschwiler. Coach, uh, got to be happy with the team's resiliency, but that, that's a tough way to lose. It is. You know, obviously they, they executed in the power play at a super high level with really good players, and, and we weren't good enough for the penalty kill. We need some saves as well. You know, they shoot them right at them and they're going in, and we need some big saves back there. But I thought our guys fought and fought and fought and played a real good game. I'm proud of our, our effort. How tough is it to uh, win a game against a team like that when you're in the, when you're in the box so frequently? Well, I'm not, I feel like the penalties are probably even, but certainly, I mean, they're, they're, you don't want to be down to, to a skill level like that. And obviously, they, we gave an opportunity today to make plays. Our penalty kill was by no means good enough. And, and obviously, they took advantage. Our, you know, our power play scored two. We're probably two or eight. We got to execute on, at a higher level on our power play as well. Um, is there some added difficulty in staying out of the box when you're facing a team um, with that style and skill level? Of course, there's their skating and their their skill put all kinds of pressure on you to defend in a legal manner. They know that, and they're going to continue to skate and put pressure on lots of people this this season. Uh, just thoughts on the atmosphere tonight with that uh, record lunatic crowd? Electric, great. That's what college hockey is all about. That's what we're all about. It's awesome. Uh, any thoughts on the ending there with uh, Michigan kind of taking that slow stroll uh, in front of the lunatics? You can ask their coach about that. And, uh, it seems like there were ample opportunities to score against Eric Portill. A couple misses, handful of cross-crease passes not executed. Is that part of growing pains for this team, and uh, how do you clean it up moving forward? Well, I mean, why it looks like it's open and they're trying to one-time box, those are still hard plays and they're skill plays. And I think certainly, you know, in the power play, we, we had a couple looks over there. Certain Jamie Rome hit, smashed a couple one-timers. They didn't hit the net. We'd love them to hit the net. They executed a higher level than we did uh, on, those, on those plays and those opportunities. Uh, one last one about uh, Ryan McAllister, another big game from him. Um, what have been the keys to his emergence as a true freshman this year? Really smart, skilled, competitive, really good player. He's going to be a college hockey star if he's not already. All right, thanks, Coach. Thanks. And joined now by senior captain Jason Poland. Jason, I got to be pretty happy with the guys' effort there to come back from a two-goal deficit. Um, you know, what was the team doing there in the third period to create so many chances? Yeah, I mean, our compete was there. You know, uh, when we talked in the locker room, we knew we had to come out hard and uh, put on the pressure on them, and we did, and just fell short. But our compete was there for sure. I mean, you can't can't blame any of those guys in the locker room. Rough night for the penalty kill. Was that, you know? On enforced errors there, was that just Michigan's players making good plays? I thought our system was good. I think they, just, they were able to score on their opportunities. I, I think that's just what it came down to. But uh, I thought our positioning was good, and they just they were able to score on. Held them to like the mid-20s in shots as a team that gets over 42 a game. Um, you know, What did you do on the ice to kind of limit their opportunities? Yeah, I mean, they're a fast team. Obviously, we want to we break up their, their offensive play and take back their end and just grind them down low. And, like I said, compete, and uh, we were able to do that for three periods and even the overtime, but it just fell short. You bring up the word grind, and now the NCHC grind starts. Uh, Miami, big rival coming into Los Angeles Arena next weekend. Yeah, and we'll be ready. You know, I mean, we've played how many games now? Like we've we've learned how how to play our systems. We've learned how to grind teams down, and we'll continue to grow on that. All right, thanks, Jason. Thanks.